Hello and welcome to BCH Wrap Up. I'm your host, Talon Callow, Bear Mountain Arena, the home of the Victoria Grizzlies. The Victoria Grizzlies made a few changes on ice and off ice. We'll talk about those in the show. Kirk Eats in our Allen Sports News Spotlight Player and more. You're currently watching BCHL Wrap Up. Prior to getting to all the news and scores in the BCHL, we're going to throw to a goal that was amazing on Saturday night. Alberni Valley Bulldogs forward Mitch Macon scores on his knees against the Victoria Grizzlies. you got to check this out. Halls followed up the boards and able to get it out. Steers Miles hard into the end boards off Lacavey's right shoulder. Dawson comes out with the puck. And a break feed for Macon. Short-handed breakaway. It's Mitch Macon tripped up. He scores! Wow, what a goal by Mitch making up Alberni Valley Bulldogs. That goal was on Saturday evening against the Victoria Grizzlies. A shorthanded goal as well. A candidate for a goal of the year, that is for sure. It's now time to take a look at the news and suspension of the BCHL. We're starting right here in Victoria, where the Victoria Grizzlies on Monday afternoon announced some new ownership changes. They added five new local partners. Then on Saturday, prior to the game against the Diamond Clippers, they fired head coach and general manager Bill Beswick. Now, Beswick took on this team last season, and he came them from last place to second place in the league. A lot of questions on why Bill was fired. Uh, head, sorry, assistant coach and assistant general manager Craig Didman took over his position just as head coach. Peter Zaberski, who is who is now the director of operations on and off the ice, took over this role. He was also general manager in 0304. Uh, funny enough, during that time, as he was general manager of Victoria Saul, so they were last in the Allen Division. And funny enough, Bill Beswick actually and his Alabama Clippers won the Doyle Cup that year. Uh, so a lot of new speculations of what's happening between the Victoria Grizzlies and ownership and off and on the ice. But from now, what we know is Craig Didman is the brand new head coach. Scott Hawthorne is the new assistant coach. He was an assistant coach who was not paid prior to this. Our guest is now he's a part-time paid employee. And of course, Peter Zaberski is back with the Victoria Grizzlies as the new director of operations on and off the ice. It's now time to look at some suspensions in the BCHL. Only two suspensions to report this week. The Barrington Town Sebastian Paris spent two games receiving a major penalty for a blow to the head. And Victoria Grizzly Storm Walrabbit spent two games for a blow to the head. That's all in suspension news in the BCHL this week. The Coward Javai Capitals only team this week moving a few players. Coward Javai Capitals acquired the playing rights to Taylor Allen and future consideration from the Okotos Oilers Hockey Club of the Burn Junior Hockey League exchange for playing rights of Armas Fergus. And the Coward Javai Capitals acquired the playing rights to Alexis Galbado from the, my apologies, I do not know how to say that, from the LAJAAQ in exchange for future considerations. That's all in trade news in the BCHL this week. At time to take the game of the week. We're taking back on Tuesday afternoon. The first game without bench boss Bill Beswick as a helm. It was Craig Didman and the Victoria Grizzlies taking on the Nanaimo Clippers. For a skate just two minutes into the opening period. Here comes Jerry on a rush. Down through the net or into the net area. Didn't get much on that one. Massey on the four check. Grizzlies rolling here all four lines quickly. As a two line pass for Morgan. He's on a break. He'll dance in. Forehand. Scores. It's one nothing Clippers. And he beats Dylan to the inside pad on the right. And he couldn't get around that man there, and the power play already over. So back to 5-on-5. Five five. And I'm up 1-0 in this one. Brower now pushed by Egley, stays on his feet. Who's pucking the feet there for Massey behind Alec Dillon? Chip pass, nice job by Miles. Lead there for a Jerry. This is Jerry across the blue line. Staying wide on the backhand. Cuts in. Who's this? Egley pokes it home! Unbelievable effort by Jerry. He dangled around the defense and just left a beautiful brownie sitting oh, around the doorstep. My. And it's tied 1-1 in this hockey game here. Mackey down low for Forrester. Forrester now comes up to the slot. Can't find an option. Wide open is Mackey in front. Grizzlies had a chance to feed him, but they could not do so. They get away with perhaps a trip to God Day. Mackey trying to scramble that puck free. Clippers clear to center. Chance here for Massey to cut off his man, Margo. They collide. They'll dangle towards the net, and Margo will get a shot. He scored! An ugly one. Margo banks it off the leg there of Massey. It was a strange one. Nanaimo scores in their 10th shot, and no chance for Dylan. Too many men. His pickup got it. I thought an elbow or maybe a stick in the mouth area, but he did get off in time. He is all right. Lost his mouth guard. Play does continue. And I'm a, the player is giving it to Cole Pickup on that play. As the Grizzlies Hawn slot for wall rep, trying to dangle, trying to swat it at the net. Grizzlies Hawn with control into the slot. He's got daylight. Wrist shot scores! Dante Hawn, he goes roof. We're tied at two in the third. Dante Hawn with a rare wrist shot. But not much ice time for David Wolchuk. Slap shot, Austin Dick. Deflects towards the net. And looking for it there was Margo, who's got a goal tonight. 
Pumping puck down to center ice for Cole. Pickup trying to get around Austin Dick. Loose puck for Hahn. Breakaway. Back in. Scores! Dante Hahn! Hallelujah! And Fitzgerald lost it in his feet. It's still tied up. Brower. Goose you right point. Knuckles one. Intercepted Smizers. Daylight moves it left side for Swartz. Open net for Swartz. And he scores. You called it. <laughs> <laughs> so Jaden or Jesse Swartz scores. It's now time to leave the Island Sports New Spot of the Week. This week we're featuring Kurt Keats of the Power River Kings. Kurt's favorite NHL team is the Winnipeg Jets. His favorite NHL player is Jonathan Taze. His goal this season is to win the Fred Page Cup, and his goal in life is to get a good education through hockey. His favorite hockey moment is winning the Western Canadian Bantam Championship with the Winnipeg Monarchs. This week's Island Sports News Spotlight of the Week is on Kurt Keats of the Power River Kings. It's now time to take a look at the scores in the BCHL for week number 15. It's time to have the Santa Financial scoreboard starting on Tuesday afternoon. The Victoria Grizzlies and the Clippers game of the week. The Victoria Grizzlies pulled away the win 4-2 without head coach Bill Bessler as Craig Didman took over that night. Seven hours back speed the Trail Smoke Eaters 5-2. Skipping following the next night on Wednesday afternoon. One game on action as Penticton V's beat the Trail Smoke Eaters 3-2. All the way to Friday afternoon, Penticton V's beat the Chilliwack Chiefs 6-3. Trail lost to Vernon 6-3. Couch by Gabbles beat the Alberni Valley Bulldogs 2 to 1. The Dom Clears beat the Coleman Express 6 to 3. Merritt got outshot by the West Kelowna Warriors 2 to 0. Langley beat the Surrey Eagles 5 to 2. Victor Grizzlies beat the Power Kings 5 to 1. And now on Saturday afternoon, the Couch by Capitals lost Penticton V's 5 to 1. Steen Cooper returned to that game with the Penticton V's. Seven Rex beat the Vernon Vipers 4 to 2. Surrey beat the Dom Clippers 3 to 1. The Victoria Grizzlies beat the Alberni Valley Bulldogs in overtime 3-2, and the Langley beat the Power Kings 5-2. And then there were a couple games on tap for Sunday, December 15th. Penticton V's beat the Victoria Grizzlies 3-2. Marison Taylor beat the Salmon and Silverbacks 5-4 in overtime. The Alma Clears beat the Langley Riverman 3-2 in overtime. West Clone Warriors beat the Power Kings 4-1. Coquitlam lost the Surrey Eagles in overtime 5-4. And the Prince George Bruce Kings beat the Chilliwack Chiefs 4-1. That's all for your Santa Financial scoreboard. www.sanafinancial.com for more information. A couple weeks ago, the opportunity to speak to Colton Kerfer of the Northwest Vancouver Giants of BC Major Midget League in this segment, Road to the BCHL. Uh, when I was about three, my mom and dad got me skating just up at the up at Hollybrink Country Club, just with my brother, and just playing out in the rink. And since then, Colton has wowed many people with his talent, including player advisor Brian Pierce, who recruited him. Um, I recruited Colton out of the Major Midget, um, BC Major Midget Hockey League. Uh, Colton has had a lot of success in that league, winning the league championship last season with the Vancouver Northwest Giants, um, and also the Max Tournament, where he was one of the leading goal scorers in the tournament. For every hockey player growing up, the NHL is the true dream. However, realistically speaking, a goal has to be set, and Colton knows his. Uh, next year I want to play somewhere in the BCHL and hopefully get a college scholarship to Div 1 school. Colton, who currently plays for the Vancouver Northwest Giants in the BC Major Midget League, idolizes his game after his brother. Uh, I don't know, my brother maybe? He's had some success everywhere he's been. He's been my role model growing up and I just really like the way he plays. I just want to be like him, kind of. Colton recognizes he has a few things to work on, such as skating faster, but can also point out some of his strengths on the ice. I think that I move the puck well, I finish well, I make the, make the players around me better. His player advisor Brian Pierce says Colton basically has the full package, from his play on the ice to his grades off the ice. Uh, Colton has all the qualities that college coaches are looking for. He's got um, a high grade point average, um, you know, carries mostly A's uh, throughout his subjects. And then on the ice, he's strong on the puck, he's, he's, he's a top quality playmaker. And that's what, uh, that's what coaches look for at every level. So he makes an ideal Ideal prospect. Colton has already AP'd in one BCHL game this season for the Equipment Express, the former team of his brother, Alex. It was pretty nice. I played a bit. I got hit hard a few times, but, you know, it's just taking the next step. So I, I had fun. It was a good game. I played pretty well. Colton has said he has many great hockey moments so far in his life, but the main one that stands out is winning the Max Tournament last year. Uh, winning the Max Tournament last year was a pretty pretty great one. We, our team, we really bonded at the tournament. We fought hard. We overcame some, some adversity, and it was just a great tournament for us. This month's Road to the BCHL is on Colton Kerfoot of the Vancouver Northwest Giants. That's for all this edition of BCHL wrap up. I'm your host, Tally Campbell. Well, this will be the final show of 2013. We'll see you back here all in 2014. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.